Sonic 116. Sonic 116. Let me not to the marriage of true mind. She walks in beauty like the night. Of cloudless climes and starry skies, and all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes, thus mellowed to oh, the Oh, Captain! My Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. The port is near, the bells I hear, the people all exulting, while follow eyes, the steady keel, the vessel grim and daring. But oh heart. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done to be or not. To be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer. To, to suffer, suffer. To, to if suffer. you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating And yet don't look too good nor talk too wise If you can dream and not make dreams your master If you can think and not make thoughts your aim If you can meet with triumph and disaster And treat those two imposters just the same The gray sea and the long black land And the yellow half moon large and low And the startled little waves that leap In fiery ringlets from their sleep As I gain the cove with pushing prow and quench its speed, I the slushy sand than you, a prouder man than you. If you fancy that your people came from a better stock than mine, if you hint at higher breeding by a word or by a sign, if you're proud because of fortune or the clever things you do, then I'll play no second fiddle. I'm a prouder man than you. If you think that your profession has the more gentility and that you are condescending to be seen along with me, Two roads diverged in the yellow wood And sorry I could not travel both And be one traveler long I stood and looked down one as far as I could To where it bent How much do I love love thee? How much do I love thee? Go ask the deep sea How many red gems in its coral caves be? Or ask the broad billows that ceaselessly roar How many bright sands Do they kiss on the shore Oh My love's like a red, red rose That's newly sprung in June Oh My love's like the melody That's sweetly played in tune As fair thou art My bonny lass So deep The pine trees bend to listen to the autumn wind as it mutters something which sets the black poplars ashake with hysterical laughter while slowly the house of day is closing its eastern shutters. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. I once was lost, but but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. I can see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear, and And grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear, the hour I I first first believed. I believed. Through many dangers. You left me, sweet. Two legacies. A legacy of love, a heavenly father would content, had he the offer of. You left me boundaries of pain, capacious as the sea. Between eternity and time, your consciousness and me. Lift every voice and sing, till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise. 
high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling seas. When forty winters shall besiege thy brow and dig deep trenches in thy beauty's field, thy youth. Proud livery so gazed on now will be a tattered weed of small worth held. Not that I love thy children whose dull eyes see nothing save their own unlovely woe, whose minds know nothing, nothing care to know, but that the roar of thy democracies, thy reigns of terror, thy great anarchies mirror. My wildest passions like the sea, and give my rage a brother liberty. For this sake, only do thy dissonant cries. The poet, a moody child and wildly wise, pursued the game with joyful eyes, which chose like meteors their way and rived the dark with private ray. They overleapt the horizon's edge, searched with Apollo's privilege through man and woman and sea and star. Saw the dance of nature forward far. Three things make earth unquiet, and four she cannot brook. The godly Agur counted them and put them in a book. Those four tremendous curses with which mankind is cursed, but a servant when he reigneth, old Agur entered first. Oh, you who longed to be comforted! You that seek refuge from the tempest life continually parades, none can calm ills that envelop the innocent child. A mother like this, she provides rain for your soul, and when life's hot, she shades. Thou, thou that bearest the way, with whom the sea nymphs play, and Venus every way, when I embrace thy knee and make short prayers to thee, in love, then prosper me. This day I go to woo. Instruct me how to do the work thou puttest me to. 